So the first part of the show is the product of the week. And the product that we are using today, it is from Kerastase, and it is their Short Mania hair product. It's from L'Oreal again, so it's also it's a, it's a very similar tub to what we would see with the Shuramura range. So it is plastic, it's fine, it's purple, it is a little bit on the feminine side, the purple side, and Kerastase generally is more of a, a feminine brand. Uh, it's more for professional females, uh, is what I would say, but actually this Short Mania, they sort of say it is for men as well. Obviously, it's, if it's for short hair, then it could be for men or women. It makes no difference, really. And the way that they describe it is a sculpting paste that spreads easily to give a clean, semi-matte structured style with finish. Defined structure styles, reworkable shape, semi-matte finish, UV filter and heat protection, anti-frizz and humidity protection. And the hold is strong and flexible. It's great for short hair and ideal on men. Okay, so let's style it up. When you open the tub, it's very easy to get out. It's very soft, very pliable through the hands. It's not really too, it doesn't really pull apart, but it just sort of, it covers the hand very nice and easy. What actually does strike you as soon as you open it, or as soon as you sort of warm it up in your hands is actually the smell. And it does actually have quite a, a pure, a perfumey smell to it. It's, it's not something necessarily I would uh, choose to have my hair smelling like. It's, it is definitely on the feminine side. It almost, it's a little bit more on the, older woman side for me and totally honest as well actually it's not really that pleasing a scent when you're spreading it through the hair it spreads through the hair very easily uh, but then it also once you once you get it into the hair then it sort of almost dries up so it feels like it's getting that drier texture and more of a hold to it uh, putting it in through the front as well it, it worked in very nicely very easily and through that front you get the nice piecey texture when it was first done it felt like it sort of not quite set into place, but felt as though it was it was going to be there. But now, actually, I felt like a few minutes after it is starting to soften down and almost feel as though there's a bit less product in there. Especially when I look in the mirror, it's almost got a little bit more of a, a sheen to it. It's not quite fully matte, and it's not something that's necessarily got that much of a hold. I don't think. I, feel. I don't know. We'll have to see how that lasts. We'll check back at the end of the day, see how it does last. So it's the end of the day, had the product in now for a few hours and as you can see it's sort of it's fallen really quite flat, it's the wave has gone really quite crazy into it, it's lost all of that volume in through there, I've had to really sort of try and prop it up and it just it doesn't really look like there's too much product in there, you see it's just fallen flat and it's it's not really lasted at all during that day really. So for myself it's really a, not really a product I would ever use again, not really something I would I can think of anyone that I'd use it on and also as, in the afternoon since editing I realised that that this product's actually been discontinued, so it makes no sense even to do a review of it in the first place, but here we go. Mm -hmm.